In this next video tutorial on organizing data in Google Sheets, we're going to look at a feature known as Filter. The Filter option is one of the best ways to look at uh, answers in one question and compare them to how well students did answering another question that might be similar or was maybe covered in the same chapter of the book or the same unit or even on the same day in class. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to set up our filter and then we're going to see how to apply the filter to any column of information that we would like. So in setting up our filter, we need to choose which columns we might like to filter in the future, which means we can choose just some of the columns or we can choose all of them. In this instance, the only column that I really don't care about is this timestamp column over here. So I'm actually going to select all of the other columns in my sheet here and I'm just dragging across the top of them until I get to the last column that has responses in it. And then I'm going to go up to data on my menu and I'm going to create a filter. And you're going to see it applies a bit of a color change here to my sheet, but it also adds this tiny little filter icon next to each uh, option in my very first row up here, each question. And what that allows me to do is select on that and now I can filter to remove or only show the information for specific answer choices that I might like to see. So listed here are all of the different answers that any of my students selected for this question. And I can uncheck a few of them or maybe the only thing I want to see for this is how many people knew both uh, the Kansas City Chiefs and the Green Bay Packers played in that very first Super Bowl. So I'm going to tell it to clear all of the answer choices and then I'm only going to select on that one and I'm going to click OK. And it's going to remove all of the data from the sheet except for the individual students who had both of those answer choices selected. And maybe I want to compare that to say column H where the question was, uh, what position did Babe Ruth play in his first year in Major League Baseball? So once again, I can click on this filter icon that has been created and choose that the only answer I want to see are the people who selected that he was a pitcher when he began. So now I'm getting a look at which students, had their names been displayed here, knew that the Kansas City Chiefs and the Green Bay Packers played in the very first Super Bowl and that Babe Ruth began his career as a pitcher. Then I can go back to any of these and I can clear, select all, to bring back that additional information. So I haven't really deleted it from the sheet. I've simply hidden it because it doesn't fit the rules of my filter. And now I have back all of the responses and now I can go back and say filter the total score by how many people knew uh, the name of Ho Chi Minh City previously and so on. Now that I've turned on the filter I can just apply it to any column as I see fit in order to compare that data.